viewers and welcome to the program The Diplomatic Encounter, a program that deals with the relations of Zimbabwe and other countries. Today, we'll be taking you to Indonesia. Discover the unseen world of Jakarta, a vibrant community that cherishes life in a myriad of interesting ways. Centuries of multicultural togetherness. From the tranquil seaside, fresh, exhilarating, and the mangrove forest, a nearby weekend getaway for families. And ultimately, lots and lots of fun. Discover Jakarta. Wonderful Indonesia. Welcome to the Diplomatic Encounter. And today we are joined by Bayou uh, from the Indonesian Embassy. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me, Manesha. Okay. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the cultural exchange. Yes, of course. But before you even begin, give me time to explain a little bit about Indonesia. Okay. Now, Manesha, you see, this is the map of Indonesia. It's huge. Ah, that's huge. And this is our capital city. This is Jakarta in here. And then we have 700 spoken language and 300 tribes. You see, when you walk or you have a trip from here to here, you, you will experience different people. They talk different language. They come from different tribes. So we are really a diverse country. So how many of those languages do you speak? Me, personally? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I only can speak three. I three. speak Javanese. You see, this is the island of Java. Yeah. I speak Javanese language. Yeah. And then I speak Indonesian language. This is a language that is spoken by all people in Indonesia. That is what keeps us united. And I speak English, a broken English, a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> I think you can now speak Shona. Well, I'm, I'm, I try to learn Shona. Please, let... Let us sit and try the coffee. So, Manesu, please enjoy. This is Indonesian coffee. What makes it special is, you know, when you grow a coffee, different altitude will result on different tastes of coffee. And we have a mountainous area in Indonesia, and basically a lot of coffee plantation is planted in a hill. So, they are really rich, different altitude. Can you taste it? What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. How is it different from Zimbabwean coffee? Yeah. I'm sure you've taken some. Yeah, that's what I'm, uh, I'm explaining to you. Uh, because different altitude will result on different tastes of coffee. Mm -hmm. Indonesia is mountainous area. So when you plant a coffee, they will most likely growing in different level of altitude. And we mix it into one, so the coffee become really rich in flavor and strong. Yeah, you know, like there is a famous quote by Starbucks, a really famous brand, coffee brand, is get yourself a good cup of Java. A good cup of Java, because Java is representing a good quality and rich flavor of coffee. Um, today, we're talking about the cultural exchange between uh, Zimbabwe and Indonesia. I'd like to know about the cultural exchange in terms of uh, the scholarship. Well, we provide two types of scholarship. It's for master degree and second one is for cultural exchange. Uh, we, have, we are already having this program with Zimbabwe uh, from 2006 until now. And up until now, there, is, uh, there are 75 students from Zimbabwe who already joining our scholarship program. And the number, the trend is keep increasing by time. And the, the name of the scholarship is Dharma Siswa. Dharma Siswa is for the cultural exchange. And KNB, KNB is for the master program. Oh, okay. So, um, do you have age limits? Age limit, no. So far, but usually the trends show that people who are applying for the master degree, they usually ranging from 26 until 31. Until 31. 31. What about the undergraduate? Well, uh, 
in our experience, we are focusing on uh, master degree program and also cultural exchange program. For the undergraduate student, usually they are already enrolled in a university and they want to enrich their knowledge about culture and they apply for like one year program of cultural exchange in Indonesia. Oh, okay, so can you just mention some of the projects? Yeah, for example, right now there is like how many people, Masari? Twelve. Twelve people uh, uh, joining the Dharma Siswa program. And now, you, as I already explained, this is Indonesia, right? And they are spread over Indonesia because in different area, different geographical condition, they have different culture. Some staying in Aceh, it's like the most western point of Indonesia. Some will stay in the middle, in Yogyakarta. And some will stay in the uh, east, for example, in Makassar. They will learn various, like for example, like music, dancing, and then spoken language, and some basic information about the culture. By the end of the program, they will go back together again in Jakarta, and usually they will perform in front of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and other high-ranking official to show what they already learned. So besides scholarships, there are other people who would like to apply and go there. Um, what are the benefits of going there and which schools? Do you have any good schools that these people can go and do their undergrad uh, degrees? Or? Well, yeah, the best university in Indonesia, because I am from University of Gajamada, trust me, the best university is University of Gajamada and second one is University of Indonesia. Uh, that is uh, the best university in Indonesia and it provides a lot of program. It's the social humaniora, you, you name it, like law, economics, something like that, or even engineering, they also have. So it's up to you what is your area expertise and your passion on it. For example, my colleague Hari, uh, he is graduated from uh, Art Institute of Indonesia, and it's really focused on how to develop art competency. He can dance, he can sing traditional music, he can teach, he can teach you Indonesian language, he mastered two kind of traditional language, uh, Javanese and uh, another, another one I forget, uh, something like that. So it depends on your passion and also your, your interest. Thank you so much for your joining us. Pleasure. You are watching The Diplomatic Encounter. Join us after the break. <laughs> viewers and welcome back to the second segment of the diplomatic encounter where today in the program we're focusing on the cultural relations between Indonesia and Zimbabwe. In this segment I am joined by Reginald Tapumane, one of the Indonesia scholarship beneficiaries. Hi Reginald and welcome to the program the diplomatic encounter. Thank you. Can you tell us Reginald what the Indonesian scholarship is all about? Mm -hmm. Right, uh, this scholarship that I got uh, is called uh, Damasiswa Scholarship. Of course, there is uh, this uh, scholarship called KNB as well. But uh, the scholarship that I got, uh, it was uh, called uh, Damasiswa. And uh, it's a scholarship that is uh, given to, 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 to different countries. Uh, for instance, we, we were quite many. We, we had other European students that were, that were there. Uh, we stayed there for about a year. Uh, I was uh, studying at the University of uh, Computers, uh, Unicom, for I was studying uh, visual communications design. Oh, how many Zimbabweans were awarded with this scholarship? Uh, we were about three, uh, but uh, at my university I was just uh, the only African that was there. Uh, and uh, also the, the other two, they were in uh, other cities. Can you share with us the major lessons that you learned during your stay in Indonesia? Well, uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, the, the Indonesian culture, the people, the food, everything about uh, Indonesia is quite interesting, especially uh, their, their, their humbleness, uh, hospitality. Uh, it was really good. I, I never 
faced any, I've, I, I never faced any challenge when I was in Indonesia because the people were great. And Reginald, are there any lessons that you learned while you're in Indonesia mm -hmm. that you'd want to implement back home? Indeed, there are quite a number of lessons that I, I, I learned uh, from Indonesia. Uh, for instance, the way how they turned their, their culture into tourism. Uh, it's, it's, it's really interesting. And uh, seeing our, our, our Zimbabwean culture, uh, I think we, we, we can also do quite a, a lot with our culture. Oh, interesting. And what advice would you want to give mm. to other fellow Zimbabweans that mm. also want to have that opportunity that mm. you had? I think I would encourage all the Zimbabweans uh, to, 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 to apply uh, such scholarship, uh, especially from the Indonesian uh, embassy. They, they will assist. And it's quite interesting uh, what you learn from Indonesia. You will not regret it. Reginald, you mentioned that you studied visual arts while you were in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. What is it now that you're doing in the visual arts sector back home? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, before I left, uh, I, I was uh, doing journalism. I'm a, I'm a journalist. Uh, but ever since I got back from Indonesia, now I... Uh, I'm, I'm now doing my, my own things. So thanks to, to, to Indonesia, they opened my eyes. Now I'm now doing my, my, my own things that are visual communications related. Oh, interesting. Mm. You were brought to be an entrepreneur because of your scholarship. Yeah. It's been a pleasure having you on the show mm. and all the best in your visual communications journey. Viewers, we've heard it from Reginald who was awarded a scholarship in visual communications. He did not only go to Indonesia and study, but he's back home implementing what he's learned. Between Zimbabwe and Indonesia, there are going to be, be better collaborations. David, kindly introduce yourself. Uh, my name is David Machaka and uh, I'm Zimbabwean. I'm an Afropop artist and I'm a singer-songwriter from Harare. Yeah, that's, that's about it. It's a pleasure having you on the show. Thank Can you. you tell us the genre of the music that you're playing on your guitar? Uh, this, this is a Javanese century-old song. It's called Bengawan Solo and it talks about a beautiful river. Can you tell us about the collaborations that you're doing with the Indonesian Embassy? Um, I got a chance to work with the Indonesian Embassy. Uh, we did a show with them um, called Enchanting Motherland. And from then on, we've been working on a few uh, pieces, a few songs here and there. And as well, just, uh, you know, whenever they have private things going on, I get, to, I get the privilege to be a part of it at times. And how is the exchange of the culture in terms of music going? Um, it's really brilliant. It's amazing how much of uh, Zimbabwe actually fits into Indonesia oh, and how much of Indonesia sounds like Zimbabwe as well. Wow. So you get to enjoy a lot of that and get to experience uh, it on another level really. So David, are there any collaborations that are going to happen in the near future between Zimbabwe and Indonesia? I should believe so. I should believe so. I mean, just um, looking at Indonesian embassy, they have a heart for, you know, for, for the children in Zimbabwe. And I think, you know, personally, I, the music that I've written, I've, I've got an album that's coming out on the 1st of December. And I, I do talk a bit on you know, children's uh, needs and everything. And I think um, just being a part of the Indonesian embassy like this has made me realize how that's a big matter, you know, because when you're writing music sometimes you just think, ah, you know, maybe I'm just writing a good song. But then when it becomes reality, when it's made reality by these guys, then you realize that, oh, wow, maybe it might have meant something. And definitely, I think, it would be really nice to have works coming out. Wow, yeah. with the fantastic music that I heard, I'm actually looking forward to hearing an album from you guys or attend a music concert with the Zimbabwean and Indonesian musicians happening. All the best in your collaboration.
Maybe let me also try what you've been doing. I could be a guitarist in the near future. You never know. <laughs> wow. I, I think you should, you should definitely be on the project. <laughs> I'm joining you in a unique store. That was David Machaka, a Zimbabwean artist doing a lot of collaborations with the Indonesian Embassy. Hope to hear a musical album incorporating the Indonesian and Zimbabwean culture. Welcome to the program, The Diplomatic Encounter. It is a special episode where we are focusing on the cultural relations between Indonesia and Zimbabwe. We've seen the educational platforms that are there between Indonesia and Zimbabwe. Now, let's see the dance collaborations. Go. Hello, guys. What is happening here? Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. Okay, uh, we are uh, learning about Indonesian dance. Uh, called the Skalan. Uh, the dance is uh, from East Jaffa. So, would you like to join us? Looks fun. I would love to join. All right, please. What do I do? So, uh, this is a sample. Okay, it's different. Good. Thank you. And you, you should take off. Oh, your I should feet. take off okay. my. <laughs> All right. Elegant shoes, sure. And then, what do All you right. do? Excuse me? Can I put cringing on your foot? What is that for? <laughs> this is part of the dance. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm in Indonesia today. Wow, I'm so excited. All right. Part so of me, I'm not a very good dancer, hey? No I'd worries. I love to okay. learn. Just, okay, so just follow, <laughs> follow me like this. So, all right. Like this? Yeah, okay. And then you put your hand like this. All right, let me, okay. Fury, all right. And then put like that, the hand like this. Oh, but three of my fingers mm, are Okay, no, oh. sorry. All right. <laughs> Oops. Like this, okay. All right, so please check your, your right leg to make a sound with your cringing. Okay, with my count, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we combine with sample move. Oh, okay. Sample movement, okay? <laughs> All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, perfect. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Interesting moves right there. Thank you. I had a difficult time in trying to do the Indonesian dance. Can you kindly introduce yourself and tell us what the dance is all about? All right, uh, my name is Hari. So it's my full name is Christian Tohari Kusminto. Uh, I'm staff of uh, social cultural and information in Indonesian Embassy. So uh, here uh, I teach uh, female male traditional dance. So everyone everyone can join for free. Viewers, you've heard it for yourselves that this is an open class. Come, let's do the Indonesian dance. It is free for all. I am now joined by another dancer in the dance class. Mukoma Lata Ban, two day good at your own way, Chimagachin's be rape. Um, Dangu sang our own friend, I'm to name my guy, dear Gandhi, introduce all this program. And I was also interested. Sagandawa. Sapanish was Zuku Bati Rere. Yeah, Zagawanda, Kungo, Zoma, cultures is Munica, and also it's an exercise. Now I'm joined by Tonde Rai Magaya, one of the dancers in the Indonesian class. Tonde Rai, can you tell us a bit about your class? My name is Tonde Rai. I'm doing this Bahasa Indonesia dance so that I'll collab my own African dance, my own Zimbabwean arts and culture with the Indonesian arts and culture so that we can bring out something from there. Mr. 
for you. I've seen the fruitful collaborations that you're doing with the artists in Zimbabwe. Can you tell us more a bit about the future collaborations between Zimbabwe and Indonesia? Yeah, we will focus more about the cooperation in the aspect of culture. In the future, we are planning to have a collaboration with various artists from Zimbabwe to create children's songs because that's why uh, we identify is still lacking in Zimbabwe. This is from our point of view, of course. We have a lot of artists in Zimbabwe and they are having uh, very good songs, but for commercial songs, basically they are telling about love, they are telling about money, but how about children? The children is the future of Zimbabwe. We need to educate them and one of them is using the song. You know, there is a famous quote that if music speak the uh, if music be the food of love, play on. Yes. So that's what we're going to give to the children love, the language of love. In Indonesia we have a lot of children song basically they teaching about what is your dream? Love to the parents. And they, it will start in their heart, in their mind, until they grow up. So uh, that is something that uh, the government of Indonesia, through the Embassy of Indonesia, want to focus on uh, in the Zimbabwe in terms of cultural aspect. Well, interesting. I agree with you that music should be the voice of the children. Mm -hmm. I've seen you teaching different artists in Zimbabwe. Are you yourself an artist? No, I'm not the one who teach. I mean, I have a colleague uh, from the Embassy of Indonesia, and he is the true artist. But I can, I can play a little bit of music instrument. We have talked about children's songs. There is a very famous children's songs in Indonesia. It's very simple songs like this. Now I will sing it using Indonesian language. Oh, wow, viewers, let's listen to it. that there's opportunity with the Indonesian embassy to sing songs that contextualize the situations of children in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, we have seen the different cultural collaborations that can be done between Zimbabwe and Indonesia. That has been the diplomatic encounter. Hope you found that informative and educative. For me and the crew behind the scene, see you again next week. <laughs>